Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. No club. Um, so today we are going to be doing something very special. Justin actually had to cooperate and do stuff in this. Um, but it's gonna be cute. We're doing Dylan's Draw My Life. We did Claire's Draw My Life a while ago, but lately we've just been thinking that nobody really knows Dylan's history. I don't even know Dylan's history. And so, we're gonna learn it and we're gonna show you guys it too. So yeah, let's get started. I was born on the streets around 2006 without a friend in the world. One day I was resting and animal control picked me up and took me to the pound. I was a very sad pup. And when people came by to adopt other dogs, they never chose me. One day, though, someone came in and was choosing a dog, and while all the other dogs were barking loudly to be chosen, I just sat with a dirty look on my face. Turns out I was the one chosen anyway for not being loud and obnoxious. In my new owner's home, I was still very sick with kennel cough and very mad at fur. This one guy who was around a lot said I should probably get checked out and groomed. He thought I was annoying because I was always snoring and coughing, but he was nice at least. Eventually the owners I had had to get rid of me because they were supposed they weren't supposed to have dogs. Apparently impulse decisions aren't always the best decisions. That one guy that was around said he would give me a place to live though and my and be my new dad and I was happy about that. Although all the other people that lived in the house uh, said I looked like Falcor from the Never Ending Story and they were all really nice. My dad and me lived in a few places and he gave me a sweet home base to eat treats on and a cave and his sleep place for nighttime. Sometimes my dad took me to his parents' house where I met my best friend Winston. He is a big dog, but lets me hang out with him and we adventure around the big yard and stuff. Sometimes we get really muddy. It's awesome. Then there was this time we made another move to a place that took us three days and three nights to get to. My dad and me hung out in the fast move thing the whole time. We had another fast move connected to it. I guess it's called the car with the trailer. He said we were driving across the country. I got to pee in eight different states. We lived on the fourth floor of this new place. It, it was so many stairs to run up and down all the time. It was always really hot, and when it rained, I basically turned into a puddle. My dad called this place the land of Philadelphia on the East Coast. We went on a lot of trips to other places, too. One time, we did another long drive and saw Winston in the winter. I had so many things to tell him about. He thought my stories were cool and I should become a storyteller. When my dad and me went back to the land of Philadelphia, I started my blog. I have lots of stories on it and like to tell people about it. Usually I'm pretty busy writing new posts. It's super exclusive for dog internetters only. One day my dad and me packed everything up again in a trailer on his fast move thing and went back to where we used to live. We moved a few more times again. For a while we lived with some fun people and I had a new uncle named Bobby. We hung out a lot. It was really cool. Everybody really likes me and various things. I met my new mom and Jory after we moved again. They were super nice and I liked being snuggly and partying and doing things with them and stuff. And we always had lots of fun. And we still do. Have fun and stuff. That's us. One day in our new home, Dad and Mom brought home a new roommate. It was a cat named Claire. She always messed with my stuff and liked jumping over me a lot. It was super annoying. Joy made her a YouTube channel one day, and I sometimes was featured in it. But usually, I was pretty biz uh, writing stuff on my blog. Because my blog is way better than the cat, obviously. Dad said that I should make my blog open to more people, but I first have to make an online presence first. 
And so now I'm Instagramming gramming with a bunch of my dog friends. FYI, it's at Pub and Sense. I'll let humans see my blog soon, someday. Anyways, that's my life. I've lived in a lot of places, peed in a lot of places, and blogged about a lot of places. Thanks for your interest, but now I'm super busy again. Fine, thanks. Go. So, that was Dylan's life. Now we all know more about his life. Pump up. That was definitely your arm, huh? You drew all that all by yourself. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Like, like, subscribe, and comment. And follow Dylan on his Instagram. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed his life. Next week's video is going to be really fun. Um, so, yeah. Like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye.